We previously shared the mysterious, conspicuous green stone, which still rests at the center of a site of incredible intrigue, known as Hattusa. It possesses many advanced ancient ruins, which today evade explanation. Not only does the site contain a sphinx gate, but polygonal stone building constructed with blocks of considerable size. It is still, now slowly, returning to a geological state, a process which has taken millennia. As mentioned, along with its green stone, there are some exquisite ancient relics still present at the site. For example, the Yerkapi Rampart, built to such an incredibly high standard, an enigmatic tunnel which was built into its belly, one which spans an impressive 70 meters in length, is still in an incredible condition. In addition to the rampart, and indeed its polygonal laid floor atop, as mentioned sphinxes are present, which although often synonymous with Egypt's Giza Plateau, are found on many ancient sites. The hieroglyphic chamber, also in a notably incredible condition, although dated with the six lines of Luwian hieroglyphs, identified as being commissioned by the great king Sapaluliama II on the right-hand wall of the chamber, which describes the invasion and successes of the king, mentioning that with the help of the gods, the king invaded several lands, including that of Tarantasa. Does not explain, however, how such incredible structures were built or indeed how such polygonal masonry came into being. A masonry technique, which must be noted, is found not just at this ancient site of Hattusa, but worldwide, making it highly likely, just like that of the other sites we have covered and indeed claimed as simply having been re-inhabited, rather than constructed by those who claim so, whom we know and can track back to with modern historical study. It is littered with megalithic polygonal blockwork, some many tons in weight. It is a site which we feel was clearly the work of a lost civilization, one whom utilized now lost techniques and technologies to construct its incredible structures. The site spans a considerable distance, containing numerous temples, castles, simple dwellings, and an impressive strategic layout one which would have deterred any unwanted guests and would have stifled any attempted invasion. Who originally built Hattusa? How was the site constructed? Although claimed as the Hittites and dated to the Late Bronze Age, it is a place which we find highly compelling.